Hi there, it's Lori, and I'm here with a classroom story. This is the rest of the one shoe incident. If you haven't seen that, go back in. I'll link the one shoe short so you can understand. So later that day, I saw one shoe, and one shoe had his shoe and a shoe. And I said, Oh, what'd you do there? Did you make yourself a shoe? He said, no, my math teacher did. And so she took some uh, cardboard, like really thick cardboard, because she taught a um, construction geometry class. It was cool. Um, and she cut it out and then used duct tape because she had lots of that. And so at least I have a shoe for now. I don't know where the other shoe went and probably never will. But it's okay. They were my brother's shoes. My favorite part. He just kept saying. Anyway, I'm here for a couple reasons. First, for the Mystery Yarn Challenge February, I ended up, I didn't uh, send yarn or get yarn, so I'm working on a whip again. Just started this uh, about a week and a half ago, maybe a week ago. It's going to look like this. That's the goal. So by the end of the month or so, that's where I'm going, hoping to be, and this is where I'm at right now. I'm going to talk a little bit about this. The loop stitch is such a flipping nightmare. Um, by the way, my dog is losing his mind over here. Come here, Lebowski. Lebowski. This is Lebowski. Hey, come here. Come here. Come here. I don't, I don't know if he's been on the camera very much, but he's a sweet boy. Anyway. Um, he's losing his mind right now. So I had to learn how to do the loop stitch. This little section took forever and it was only like four rows of loop stitches. Um, I don't know how well that color is showing up, but it's, I think it's really cute. You can tell it's going to be a sunflower. Anyway, that's where it's at. I do have a picture. So Lori, you don't armchair chef, Lori, you don't have to try to get a still. So I'll take a picture. Um, or I took a picture of that. But real quick, I'm going to also talk about this. Um, I, I finished this. Um, it's really cute. It's way bigger than I meant it to be because, again, I was kind of putting patterns together. It's a swimsuit cover-up because uh, it's a little see-through if you were going to try to wear that. Um, for my stepdaughter, um, my oldest stepdaughter, the one that lives in L.A. Anyway, so she, I'm looking at this. I'm, I need to make a construction adjustment right there. Um, she wanted this, she sent me a picture and wanted to, wanted me to make it. I don't know if you can see that, but that all this metallic yarn came from a mystery bag from armchair chef Lori. I did a video about it. That one, it's hard to see the glitters, but they're there. Um, this one I already had. I freaking love this yarn. I wish I could get more of it. But anyway, um, anything that sparkles is from Armchair Chef. And then also this was an Ogo. Again, I don't know how accurate those colors are showing up. It's kind of a cherry color. Um, anyway, that's where I'm at with everything. Um, again, this is my whip. Uh, I did have another thing started. If I find that uh, to... I'll include that, but I have a feeling this is going to take me most of the month, especially because my grandson is coming on February 20th. So he's coming on the 20th for sure. So, uh, yeah, I will be watching my granddaughter, um, while my daughter and her husband are in the hospital. So I am going to be on full grandma duties. And as you can see, I go by me, mom, and my granddaughter says, mom, mom. And it's so cute. <laughs> We joke that she understands that I'm her mom's mom, but clearly <laughs> she's two years old. She does not understand that. But anyways, uh, Mima is mom mom when you're two years old. So she's a blast. She just turned two um, on Friday and uh, I went to her birthday party today. Love that little girl. She's too much fun. Anyway, thanks all for stopping by. And that's my Mr. Yarn Challenge for February. Talk to y'all later.